Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We are closing out Friday night with a big one right here. 2018 Panini Select Football. 12 boxes. Pick your team. Lucky 7. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into it. On the 22nd, Break 7, Select Football. Jonathan Best, Last Spot Mojo Cardinals. And there's everyone else right here. Thanks for getting in. Braden's here. Braden's watching live. He's got the Giants. It's like, let's get that Saquon Barkley. I think he's mostly, if not all, redemption. So keep an eye out for those redemptions. All right. As you know, by now, we've got, uh, there's XRC cards and points in here. I think one or two points cards per case. So all XRC cards will be randomized to one person. Uh, the name on top at the end of a randomizer. And then the second name will get any and all points. There it is. Fresh case. And this is our last break of the night. This will bring us right to closing time. Thanks, everybody. I still have to close down the store and all that stuff, too. All right. So we got the six boxes up front right here and then a, a row of six in the back to make the 12. All right, I think we're good. Good luck, everybody. Two autos, one memorabilia card per box on average. I've yet to see any above average boxes, box with more hits in there than advertised, and I've yet to see a below average box, so they've all just been average boxes. All right, good luck everybody. Pick your team seven. I think we've got a couple more cases left. From what I, maybe three cases left. I think one of those cases are tied up uh, in a random team break. So you may expect another pick your team or two tomorrow. I'm sure we can knock out one tomorrow. Maybe we'll save one of those cases for a mixer. I have no idea, but we might have at least one more picker team to look forward to. Our first autograph is going to be Braxton Berrios. Nice tie-dye, die-cut autograph for the Patriots. That'll be for uh, Peter. Peter Lombardo. Pete Lombardo? Maybe a, maybe a relation to Chris? Maybe they're... Or maybe coincidence. 21 out of 25 for the Pats. There you go. And then we've got Christian Kirk Gold. Three color patch and autograph. Three out of ten. That card is gold. Jonathan Best, last spot mojo. 70% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. That, that math checks out, ladies and gentlemen. We got Jarvis Landry. So these numbered cards I'm going to set aside. So on our shipping team, we'll sleeve and top load those before they go out, of course. So, But just in the interest of time. There's Chase Edmonds. Deshaun Watson. Die, the die cuts all top load right away just to protect them. There's Kyle Laletta. Big relic there. 96 out of 99 for the New York Football Giants. Braden on the board. So Watson will go to Matt Bodner and the Texans, 86 out of 99. And we got Bradley Chubb, gold. Three out of 10, that card is gold. Nice, Broncos, J-Mac, Oppo, Joe, Mojo. Three out of 10. First hit, William. 
Tie-dye Braxton Berrios and an out of 10 Christian Kirk RPA. Kyle Laletta die cut and then that Bradley Chubb gold. And then a tie-dye Antonio Callaway for the Browns. That's to 25. That'll be for Thomas Howell. All right, box two. Yeah, that's a that's a great first box. It's a good start. Now the we did another full case pick your team, ladies and gentlemen, earlier today. Seems like forever ago. Um, no, I don't think there were no train whistles in that case. I guess there's not a train whistle every case, but I think we got lucky with a few cases, so we got kind of used to it. Maybe we'll see a train whistle in this one. William Fulmer, yeah, that that Kirk is gorgeous. Love those, love the way the gold looks. Like the kind of that, like that checkerboard or X fractor background there too. It's really cool. Joe P is asking Joe, I think the Cardinals should pick up Antonio Brown since he's leaving Pittsburgh. Thoughts? Yes. I mean, who wouldn't want Antonio Brown, <laughs> right? If you have the cap space, or no, Le'Veon Bell is the free agent. Antonio Brown, you have to trade for. I mean, he's not a, I don't think he's worth a first round pick, right? Definitely not the number one pick that you guys have. No way. Um, I think he kind of, they're wide, we all, you guys, Joe P's in Arizona, ladies and gentlemen, he has been blessed uh, with Larry Fitzgerald as a wide receiver, a non-diva wide receiver. That's how they all are, Joe P, aside from Larry Fitzgerald. <laughs> Like, nice guy Larry Fitzgerald. You know? Just down-to-earth, chill dude. <laughs> you know? But then you, get, then you got guys like Odell Beckham Jr. Um, oh, Brown doesn't have a choice, Dennis. Dennis is like, Brown wouldn't like it in Arizona. Yeah, well... He wouldn't have a choice if they get traded there. Uh, 75. But hey, if you've got if you got the trading assets and the pieces, why not go for a dynamic receiver like him? A young quarterback could definitely use uh, could definitely use uh, Josh Rosen could definitely use a wide receiver like Antonio Brown to make him look good. Larry Fitzgerald's career could be extended by a season or two, just to have just just not have him covered all the time. So. Eric Bailey saying that Antonio Brown wants to be traded to San Francisco. I feel like that's a decent fit too. And there's gold. A lot of gold so far. Five out of ten. Gold Rashad Penny for William Fulmer. And David Johnson out of the backfield too. Five out of ten. Well, we don't know if uh, we don't know if if uh, Antonio Brown doesn't want to be in Arizona yet. You know, if if the Cardinals identify him as a player to want, the young coach like Cliff Kingsbury could make a could make a pitch for Arizona, could convince you know Antonio Brown. He's got a college background; he knows about recruiting, so. That could be the that could be the challenge for him. It's part of why he, or that's part of his paycheck, right there. There's Chad Thomas, Browns. I mean, for all we know, Antonio Brown just doesn't want Pittsburgh, not necessarily, you know, ideal locations. You know what I mean? There's Denzel Ward, three out of ten, more gold. Ooh, two color patch and honor. A lot of gold so far. There's gold in them. There cases. Nice. All right, next one. Well, where do you think he's going to go, Dennis? What's the best fit for him? Bears?
Niners could be interesting. Good coach there. Shanahan. But I don't know. I mean, he's the kind of guy though that you got to you got to feed him like 50, you got to you got to give him targets. Every game you got to give him like 15 targets a, a, a game. You know, like he wants the ball. You got to feed him. You know what I mean? I like the Colts. That's a good one. Niners. Packers. Packers really should, I think. Sean Cole says he's going to Green Bay or the Chiefs. Chiefs, I don't know if he'd be happy on the Chiefs. I feel like there's too many mouths to feed on the Chiefs. But on the Colts, Niners, Packers, I mean, he'd be clear-cut number one option, receiving option. There's Carson Wentz to 175. And there's our first XRC card, and that's an autograph. Nice. I'll go to the XRC spot. Saints could be interesting too, but I wonder if he thinks that, you know, that there'll be no Drew Brees after, after X amount of seasons, you know what I mean? So he might not want to be in that situation. Seventeen out of ninety-nine. Jersey and Auto. Demarcus Robinson. D. Rob going to the Chiefs. David Allison. And there's Dan Hampton, old Bears legend. Dan Hampton going to Adam Wilson and the Bears. I think he does. There was some some sort of some sort of domestic issue with Antonio Brown, right? I don't know if he's been charged or not, or what that is, but there were some rumblings. There's Roquan Smith. To 99. Would the Falcons want him? I don't know if the Falcons have the money or the pieces to trade, but that's Judge Ito Smith to 199. But Julio Jones on one side, Antonio Brown on the other side. Roquan Smith to 99. Mark Walton for the Bengals to 199. Remember, all of those will be sleeved and top loaded before they go out. Aaron Rodgers would certainly love to throw to Antonio Brown. My boy Derek Carr would love to throw to an Antonio Brown. They should just get Raiders should just get Bell and Brown, twenty four out of twenty five. Come on, Raiders, let's do it. Let's give up that late first round pick we got from uh, the Dallas Cowboys. Let's turn that into Antonio Brown, and let's uh, you know, and let's grab uh, Le'Veon Bell off free agency. Boom. <laughs> Can you hear that? Can you hear it, Arthur? I know it's been going. Derek Carr, too many breaks. Derek Carr tie-dye for uh, Vic and the Raiders. And Calvin Ridley, another gold. We've been pulling a lot of golds. EA with the Falcons gets the Calvin Ridley gold. Three out of ten. All right, Eric Bale. I'll, I'll, I'll let that one slide. That's, that's pretty family friendly. That's a, that's a clean joke. Clean craft joke. All right, next box. Robert Kraft. Yeah, kids should be kids. You should be asleep. I don't know. Well, this video gets recorded, Eric Bailey. Kids can watch in the morning with their Saturday morning cartoons, bowl of Fruit Loops, watch an hour long break of select football, and they'll be like, "Mom, Dad, what's what's that Jurgens lotion joke that Eric Bailey said?" 
I get angry emails. Thought this was a family friendly show. Blah, blah, blah. And I'll give him your email address, Eric. And I'll be like, talk to Eric Bailey. Damn. Nah, I'll just, I'll tell him. That's, that's TV for it. It's on, it's on like Sports Center. <laughs> it's on Sports Center. It's on like MSNBC. It's on Fox News. It's everywhere. So. <laughs> Your kids are like killing people in Fortnite. I think they can handle a little, uh, a little massage parlor talk. <laughs> Points. Sorry, those always sneak up on me. There's Adam Thielen to 199. And Derek Henry to 75. Nice relic. <laughs> I, I'm a hip kid, Kevin Manning. Just, just, just say things like Fortnite and how things are lit and then pff, easy, easy. Isn't it funny? Yeah, Eric Bailey. I was gonna. I was just gonna talk about this too. Any predictions on how many games Kraft gets suspended as Eric Bailey? It's funny how he's gonna get suspended for games. Like he has any impact on the on-field product <laughs> on game day. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you can't go to the stadium. One out of ninety-nine. Kike Kuti die cut. <laughs> Stop, Arthur. That, that that is conjuring up very uncomfortable images. So please, for the for the sake of our our retinas, three out of ninety nine. Can you imagine the sting operation? They have video. Someone had to it's like a professionals had to watch that. It's like, oh my god, is that Robert Kraft? Oh my god, what did he do? Oh god. <laughs> Out of 175, Anthony Miller. I mean, what did uh, what did uh, what did Ursay get? I remember Ursay had some sort of DUI thing, right? It's a nice one. Second quarterback taken. That could be Kyler Murray. Um, I mean, I don't know. Roger Goodell always very consistent with his punishments, right? So I'm sure it'll be something appropriate. Jersey and Otto. No, I'm sure Goodell will screw it up somehow. Jersey and Otto, Juju Smith-Schuster, Michael Gallucci, Seal Curtain with the Steelers, 11 out of 49 on that one. <laughs> Kevin Manning, don't come at my owner like that. I, I, I heard that in the T.O. voice. That's my owner. That's my quarterback. That's my owner. Well, the other the other wrinkle in this story is that Adam Schefter reported that that Robert Kraft was not the biggest name to be arrested, and so is it is it Roger Goodell? No, they were, they were all like separate opera. I, I think they were all these is separate times. I don't understand how this how this works. D do you go together with a group of guys? Isn't that kind of weird? It's like a guy's night out, kind of like a stag party. And like, it just seems odd. Eric Bailey saying NFL will say it's uh, con conduct detrimental to the league. Even though the guitar is a misdemeanor. I mean, I'm sure he'll get like, what? Eight, eight games that he can't show up at the stadium for eight games. You know, and he'll get fined like $500,000 or something like that. That's something that's what Ursay got. He'll probably be around there. And that's that. I mean... All right, next box. We got Trey Quinn for the Redskins. Uh, 
Well, yeah, Sean's right. I mean, doesn't Kraft have Kraft has a little bit of money, right? <laughs> Can't he just like hire like escorts or something like that? Why are you going to like a a strip mall massage parlor? Out of ninety nine, Antonio Brown. Where is he gonna go? Well, yeah, the bigger issue, of course, is not like not is not that Kraft was soliciting. That is the is the whole human trafficking issue. The poor girls that that were at that massage parlor. So there's Mitch Trubisky, Mr. Biscuit, tie dye die cut to twenty five. Bears, Adam Wilson. Corey Davis, 8 out of 10. More gold. We've been pulling a lot of gold out of this case. Right, yeah, I heard that too, Gary. It was like a it was a, it was a part of a larger operation. There are like a lot of other names outside of Robert Kraft as well. All right, nice Corey Davis for Christopher C. Joe Mixon die cut. Does Tom Brady really wear Uggs? No, he doesn't. 9 out of 99 on that die cut for the Bengals. Jonathan Best. Jalen Samuels. Two-color jersey and autograph. He's endorsed by, are there like boy Uggs? Or is he just wearing like girl Uggs with like fuzzy tops and shin, shin high boots? 8 out of 25, Jalen Samuels, two color jersey and autograph tie dye for Michael Gallucci. I had no idea who was endorsed by them. Josh Allen, blue to 175. Still wear Uggs? Aren't they played out? They played out in LA for a while. Uh, Braden, yes, they do because it's his rookie card. It's only veteran commons level one that do not ship. So all rookies do, every manner of rookie. Yeah, it's only it's only veteran commons. Level one veteran commons. I think there's two more levels. Those veteran commons will ship. Because they're kind of they're uncommon after that. Yeah, you're in good shape, Braden. You'll get those. All right. Uh, we're about halfway through this break, folks. Cruising. Cruising. There's Adam Thielen die cut to 49. Out of 199, James Conner. Your daughter still buys and wears Crocs. Her favorite shoe. No one's. How old is How old is your daughter, Eric? Bay? like 12? That's okay if you're a kid. If you have an adult daughter, you might want to have her rethink that. Th 34 out of 49, Adam Thielen. That goes to the Vikings, Derek. She's oh, she's a kid. That's fine. Kids can do whatever. Kids can wear whatever. If you're like my 27 year old daughter, I'm like, well, you might have her rethink that. She's a grown up now. There's Josh Allen uh, going to the Bills. Jared Dunlap. There's Eli to 99. 
Eli die cut for Braden. He's looking for his running back teammate, of course. A one of one Christian Kirk. Wow. Jonathan Best. Last Cardinals just sitting there. No one wanted him. Just sitting there. They were the last team picked up. And Jonathan Best said, you know what? F it. Scared money don't make I'll go ahead and get it. And gets the one of one Christian Kirk. He's got some upside. He's got some upside. I like what's happening there. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. I think I increased it, Eric Bailey. I started to say 70% of the time, 100% of the time. I think we've had a pretty good week or two of Last Bot Mojos doing pretty well, especially in the, you know, Last Bot Mojos are tough in one box breaks, but I think in the full casers, should we crank it up to 70? 65% of the time? Works 100%. Last Bot Mojo hits 100% of the time? Shaquem Griffin, jersey and auto. There you go, William Fulmer. A Seahawk for you. I know William staying up late with us. 47 out of 75. AP to 199 or AD all day. Zeke to 99. That's a, that's a good PC. Shaquem Griffin. It's a great story. Great player. Garrett wants your uh, Zebra prediction. We have not seen that one per K super short print Zebra print card. Zebra Parallel. I like the ones that are the die cut. Those are pretty sick. Oh, we pulled you five already, William? Well, yeah, why not start a PC? Why not? Uh, Garrett's thinking the zebra parallel will be Josh Rosen for Last Spot Mojo. All right. Yeah, Jonathan Best, who has the Last Spot Mojo, he's fine with it. I'm okay. He's like, I'm okay with that. I like that prediction. And now we've got Lamar Action Jackson, Relic. 195 out of 199 for the Purple Bird. Sean Cole with the Purple Birds. Let's try to find some ink of this guy too. There's Tom Brady. 19 out of 75. Just uh, seven off the jersey number, of course. And Tremaine Edmonds. We saw Terrell Edmonds' his brother in the other case before. And now we have Tremaine Edmonds. Jared Dunlap with the Buffalo Bills. Buffalo! Fred Warner to 75. Neam Hines, 25 out of 75. Jersey and autograph. Chris Parent with the Colts. Finishing this, he has 16 in the 
Jamon Moore to 199 for the Packers. We got Gronk, another gold card. 10 out of 10. Pats. That's for Peter Lombardo. Monty Jackson to 199. Nice Gronk. He's got another season or two in him, right? All right, let me clear some, make some extra room for myself here. Oh, yeah. Did everyone see the Scott SVP is talking about this right now. Everyone see the Don Nelson pre, uh, press conference? These were, he was at the Warriors press conference, and they were just like, "So you live in Hawaii? Like, what are you? What are you up to? What are you doing?" It's just like smoking a lot of pot. <laughs> He's like, "Good man. There you go. It's a way to retire." No zebra yet, ladies and gentlemen. No zeb yet. But zeb on the way. About halfway through this break. A little over halfway through this break. I probably have another 25, 30 minutes to go. Should take us right to the top of the hour. This, are, this is our last break of the night. We'll be shutting it down after we're done with this one. And then we'll be back tomorrow. So join us then. jazbeescasebreaks.com All right, all right, all right. We got Hayden Hurst. 18 out of 25, three color patch and autograph. Nice Hayden Hurst for Sean Cole and the Ravens. Josh Adams for the Eagles to 199. And we've got a Saquon Barkley relic for the Giants. 90 out of 190. Are we getting a little bit warmer, Braden? A little bit? I hope. Sam Darnold, orange to 49. Jets, Jets, Jets. And Will Disley. Will for Will. Will Fulmer with the Seahawks. 166 out of 199. Kenny Young to 175. Sony Michelle tricolor to 199. And Travis Kelsey die cut for David. Purple parallel. Fifty-two out of seventy-five. And Steven Jackson there. I feel like a bit of the foil gets on my fingers. All right, next box. Good luck. Four boxes to go. 
getting there. Whoa, William. That's that is some bold talk. He says, Joe, I'm feeling a Shaquem Griffin NFL Shield autograph. Possible. I mean, we've got what, there's two in every box? All right? Two, four, six, eight autographs to go. Not out of the question. Yeah, if that happened, yeah, go get a lottery ticket. What's uh, what is uh, what is Powerball up to now? I think I'm. Whenever I start hearing commercials for it, then you're like, oh, it must be like three hundred million dollars or something like that. All right, next box. We got Patrick Chung, jersey and autograph. Seventy-seven out of ninety-nine. Sorry, Anthony Miller. We got Adrian Peterson to one ninety-nine. Nice Josh Allen tie-dye, 15 out of 25. That's for Jared and the Bills. Let's sleeve that one up. One of the top rookie quarterbacks. And one of those popular tie-dye parallels. That's cool. Anthony Miller for Adam Wilson and the Bears. Really? I did. I do remember that $1.5 billion lottery or whatever it was. It's just a touch over a billion. And the winner south from South Carolina, and it still has not been claimed. How long ago? Wasn't that like last summer or last fall? I remember buying tickets for it. Calvin Ridley to 99. Die cut. Ninety-eight out of ninety-nine. Wow, rumor around these parts is the guy lost it. Oh. <laughs> One out of five. Eric Dickerson tie-dye. Colts. Chris Parent, wake up. Wake up the fam, wake up the neighborhood, tell them you got a Eric Dickerson one out of five tie-dye autograph, Colts edition, and tell them all aboard the Big Hit Express, whoop whoop, Colts edition. Baker Mayfield to 175. James Conner, 18 out of 75 for Michael Gallucci and his Steelers. Ooh, can you imagine losing a billion dollar lot? I mean, maybe if you lost, you never really know if that was, if that was 18 out of 75. Maybe you, you, you'd live never knowing. Out of 199, David Johnson. All right, three boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. So, how long? What's the uh, what's the statute of limitations on that? How? Uh, what is what is the lottery's obligation? Of the lottery to try to find this person. Right, right, right. You you can be anonymous, but. The news reported that it still just hasn't been claimed. That's crazy. Aren't there ways to... Three. 
Nice is saying it's 180 days. Wow, so if it goes unclaimed, the state of South Carolina loses $60 million. Where does the rest of the money go? It just goes back into the... Wow, 180... But aren't they able to find, like, where the ticket was sold and, like, what, like, gas station or liquor store or supermarket or grocery store that it was sold at? Aren't they able to, to kind of narrow it down a little bit? You think there are, like, private eyes who are on this, who are on the case? There's Darius Geis in 99. So they did track the store down. It's literally in the middle of nowhere. Because the thing is, the store owner, I think, would get a cut of that too. There's another Will Disley for Will Fulmer. Starting a Will Disley PC now, I guess. Right, Eddie, you're right. 31 out of 75 on that one, Fulmer. Um... Yeah, the store, the, there, there would be some motivation for the store to try to find this guy too. To find this person. Another Will Disley, White Prism to 75. Um, the store would might want to track down this guy and be like, hey, wouldn't this, I, if I were the store owner, I would hire a private eye to find the guy. And it's like, I'll give you a cut of my store, my store cut if you find the guy. A cut of the cut. No security footage at that store or anything like that? Sam Darnold to 49. Steven Jackson to 199. Darius Geis, two color patch and autograph out of 25. Going to Jeff G and the Redskins. Garrett saying, where I, where I live in Iowa, a lady just won $2 million. The gas station got $2,000. So imagine, imagine a billion dollars. Ronald Jones is second to 175. And Corey Davis. Nice relic there. Ninety nine out of ninety nine for Titans. That'll be for Christopher C. Two boxes to go. Almost there. They get a percent. Sister Nisa. Percent's good. If I'm a store owner. All I did was sell a lottery ticket. William, you should you should go. You should go, and uh, you know what? I'm gonna go. Let's we're, let's all go to South Carolina, you guys, and let's uh, let's do some investigating. That'd be an adventure. Let's do some investigating. Let's go all the way out there and be like, all right, store owner, let's get some leads. Track down this guy. Search for the missing lottery ticket. Simpsonville, South Carolina. Great. Great. You said literally the middle of nowhere? I could I could be the I could be the first Korean American kid they've ever seen in their entire lives if it's in the middle of nowhere. Right, <laughs> right Jeremy Anderson. If he or she lost the ticket, yeah, it's going to be pretty hard to uh, to turn in. All right, there's Kike Kuti to 199. There is Trey Quinn, red autograph for Jeff. 
41 out of 75. Minka Fitzpatrick to 199. And run CMC, Christian McCaffrey. Going to Matt Bodner and the Carolina Panthers. 67 out of 75. That's the white prism right there. It looks pretty cool. Roquan Smith, red, 34 out of 99. And Michael Thomas to 199 for the Saints. And there's Michael Gallup, jersey and autograph. Michael Gallup galloping to James S. And the Cowboys. There you go, James. 67 out of 75. And Anthony Miller to 49. We did it, folks. The last box. Good luck, everyone. Last box. We'll do a little recap video after this, too. This is also the last break of the night, boys and girls. I'll be back tomorrow, though. 3 o'clock Pacific, 6 o'clock Eastern. 5 o'clock Central. Join us tomorrow. We already have a break filled up and ready to go tomorrow. Oh, my God. Yeah, we haven't seen the zebra yet. Garrett and Jonathan Bass were like, what about the zebra? Yeah, no zebra yet. Are they? I don't know if they're guaranteed one per case, though, to be honest with you. I think they're just considered super short printed. They generally should fall one per case. Are they guaranteed one per case? Does the box say that? Does the stats on the... Sean Cole speculating that there won't be one because of that one of one. Maybe. Right, they're not guaranteed to... Okay, that's what I thought, too. Because, like... Like, in triple threads, you know, triple threads by tops, like, in every inner case, there's, like, a guaranteed, like, thing, right? There's a guaranteed white whale or a guaranteed triple relic, triple auto. But I don't think they say that with, like... It's just super short printed is what they say. It just happens to generally fall one per case. All right, there's XRC, wide receiver four... Do that randomizer at the end too. Josh Allen, tricolor to 199. Terrell Edmonds to 99. He's got a great auto. We got Roquan Smith autograph this time. That goes to Adam Wilson and the Bears. I feel like we were kind of flirting around a Roquan Smith autograph with some of those parallels. Now here he is. 119 out of 149. Zebra, where are you? Maybe none. Calvin Ridley to 175 for EA and the Dirty Birds. Julio for EA and the Dirty Birds, 94 out of 99. There's Derrick Henry, 64 out of 75. That goes to Christopher C. and the Titans. Philip Rivers, orange, to 49. Morton Anderson to 99, jersey and autograph, no zebra. There you go. So that one of one probably did replace that zebra right there. I think that case you were thinking about, 
There were five train whistles, but I think they were all green. Not a, not a one of one. Like one of one auto, you know what I mean? And that's Morton Anderson for the Saints. Steve Stone with the Saints at the very end. All right, the XRC random should be pretty good. Y receiver four, QB two, and an autograph. Oh, wait, there was that Rodney Hampton. Hmm. Maybe because this was a rookie that changes things? I don't know. They're not guaranteed one per case, though. Uh, he did make a smiley face on that auto. Yes, that is correct. All right, let's get some new dice. Let's get that list right here. Jonathan Best, down to Jeff, and everybody in between has a shot after four and a six, 10 times. Top two, get something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10th and final time. After 10 times, top two. Second spot gets the 250 points. That 250 goes to EA. Name on top, Robert G. There you go, Robert. You'll get all three of those XRC cards. I think EA actually is collecting these points So for some reason. He's chasing something. So there you go, Eric. Thank you, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.